How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we are reacting to Fousey Tube versus Alex Wasabi. Yes, they had a sparring match. And uh apparently Fousey Tube knocked out Alex Wasabi. So the video has been uploaded to Fousey's channel. I've got it up right now. It's titled I knocked out Alex Wasabi, not clickbait. So we're gonna watch it, we're just gonna see uh what to we, or what I think about it. And let's uh, no, 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 no. We are gonna skip the bullshit and get straight to the fight because I don't fancy watching Fousey because he is a bit silly. Right, here we go. God, no, this is so. No, that's... No, already. I... Fousey's stance is awful. And, um... Look at the way he throws this right hand. Yeah. Okay, no. Where is it? If I can get it. Look at the way... Look at the way he throws this... He, his foot lifts the ground, and it shouldn't do that. His feet should stay beneath his body. And he's leaning too far down. So where... He should be a bit more... Bit more, uh. Oh, that's a good flurry from Alex Wasabi. Hang on, let's watch this back again. Poor jabs, he's leaning back, he should be done into it. And again, they keep lifting the ground, their footwork isn't the best. They need to work on their stance. Thing is, this is a mismatch already because Fousey is way heavier than Alex Wasabi. Like, this, this, this a given. So, but he keeps leaning back, and then again, his foot comes in front. He should twist into it rather than going all the way forward. If you know what I mean. So, I'd love to get up and demonstrate, but there ain't much room. But yeah, what is Fousey doing? He's just holding up like this. He's leaving this open. He's he needs to cover a bit more ground of his gloves because he's just letting one, two, three. Like at at the second one, you'd think you'd get it, but just watch this again. One. Yeah. He's just hitting him. Like you can't do that in a fight because at that point you probably just get knocked the fuck out. Like that's just how it is. Uh, again, Alex Wasabi's jabbing, and he's going, like, he's leaning back, he should tuck his head, like, bring the shoulder up to protect himself, and then go into it. That's the whole point. Or even then, just keep his distance, rather than going backwards, because he's not actually doing anything with a jab. It's a wasteful, f it's a waste of energy. But that's a good body shot from Fuzi, at least. But then, Fuzi... Again, they just don't, they don't know how to keep their feet beneath their hips, their body. They don't know how to use their, the momentum of their hips rather than throwing their entire body into the punches, which is quite annoying. That, that is an awful punch. Do you mind shutting up, please? Um, there's a horn outside, a car horn outside, so. Yeah, just look at this from Alex. Again, the head leaning. That's... That's a good jab, but you don't when when you lift in the jab, it's all in it's all in the side that you're punching from. So if you're if you're punching from your right, you don't lift your left foot up. I mean, you can step forward into it, but obviously that requires your good footwork. Or you've got the option of twisting, pivoting. That's the word that I'm looking for. Pivoting. Use the momentum in your hips to drive the punch. As you're extending it, because just just going like that ain't gonna do much. If you want to get it, like you can feel already like how much extra power that's gonna give you. It's easier to demonstrate, obviously, but then with the uh, with the jab, he's came off on his right foot and he's leaning backwards and going for it, and it's like it's just a bit of a mess, really. And that uppercut. You don't, you don't, again, you don't bring the foot up and stretch that. You should never stretch that far for an uppercut. You should never stretch that far for an uppercut. Uppercut is a close range punch. 
You want to be in front of the guy if you want to do an uppercut. And even then, it's such a precise punch that, like, it needs to be done with the correct timing and accuracy. And obviously, it needs to be done within the correct distance. That is not a long-range punch. If he wants to keep him away, just keep him away with the jab. Like, and don't... And then, obviously, don't lean back as you're doing it. Just keep your ground. Stand your ground. That's what... That's the thing. Like that. Like, that's just awful. So, yeah. No, it shouldn't be jumping. Fuzi's done a little bit better there. That's a little little bit better. He stepped into it. That's a good slip. That's a very good slip. But he just needs to keep his head up when he's doing that because he's at that distance where he can just get uppercut himself. That's a good body shot. Fuzi's just walking straight into punches, which I find quite stupid. Yeah. That's a good jab, I guess. Uh, check out and another good, another good dodge from Alex Wasabi. I feel like Fuzi really uh, over does his movement, so he ends up telegraphing instead of just coming over with it. He goes over and then under instead of just coming over with it. Yeah, that's a, it's weird to demonstrate sitting down as well, but yeah. No. Oh. One, two. This see, it's just a bit. This is no. Right. If that's going to be on the undercard of the uh, next pay per view of the next uh, KSI Logan Paul fight, I I genuinely will not buy it because like that is awful. We're watching that again. It's it's not only scrappy, which it, I understand it can get scrappy, but that's just swinging and hitting and missing. That ain't doing anything. And that's an awful clinch. But I I'm assuming that's that's the end of round one. That's the end of round one. Okay. Round round two. Okay. Uh, they're both exchanging again. Uh, telegraphing. Who's is really going for the hits and. That is a, it's a good knockout, but it's a, it's a good hit. Watch that again real quick. See, what Alex isn't doing, he isn't utilising his straights enough, he isn't utilising his range. It's, he's, he's just running away, and from where he's not doing anything with his defence, as we'll see again, he's just sort of like panicking because these hits. He needs to... Right, we'll leave that there. He needs to sort of try and keep him away, even if he's moving back. As he steps back, jab, jab. Not lean back. Only lean back if the punch has come in and it's suitable for leaning back. Because he forgets. Or he must not know that he can still bop and weave and, you know... He's been slipping some punches and stuff, so it's... It's by some degree a bit silly not utilising the options there. But even then, as he's come, because he's coming in so much, if he's coming in, step into him and come over with a right, overhand right, a right hook. Or even then, just step in and right straight and then get straight back out of there. Because Fuzi's just coming up to him. And he isn't doing much apart from just like get holding his hand there and then swinging this back and still telegraphing the move. But he's just hitting him as hard as he can. Alex doesn't know how to deal with it. But that is still a very uh, solid punch. Like, that, it's still a good knockout. Still a good knockout regardless. Like, I'm not going to take anything away from it. Right, the standard isn't, the standard isn't amazing, but... <laughs> It, it's one of those things where it's like you can only really say this about the standard because like <laughs> you see the knockouts in like professional boxing and even then just like a regular amateur fight and it's like they're embracing there but it's like um the standard is still a lot better there's still a lot more going on here I, I feel like they could have done a lot more yeah, let's listen to this lot, see mismatch I'm you are so you, gotta, you better be scared man being in better shape doesn't automatically mean uh you're gonna do 
better because, as we know, Andy Ruiz Jr. knocked the freaking hell out of Anthony Joshua. So... I don't even remember a lot. I, I don't remember. That's crazy. That was my okay. first time I've ever been knocked down. Ever. Fair enough. Ever. That was crazy. Yeah. Okay, right. He took it like a champ. So it's it's interesting to see. I think everyone wants to get involved in this boxing thing. I want to get involved. But obviously, I'm on 158 subscribers as the time of recording, so like I ain't getting anywhere near it. So it's just fun to watch back and see all these different things. So yeah, I feel like Wasabi could have easily prevented that knockout from happening, but it happened, and that's life. So I hope they improve. Like I do want to see a better standard because it was kind of it was awful. But obviously it was a good knockout, so there's that. Anyway, if you did enjoy this uh, reaction and sort of a mini breakdown kind of, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Follow the links in the description down below and all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to see more of this reacting content with the boxing related stuff for the build up to the new fight, that's going to go down. I'd like to find a way to get my hands on tickets for it, but that will probably not likely happen, so I'll just have to watch it here. But, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what happens and who actually gets announced on the undercard and everything. And, you know, Fusey wants Deji and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, I can't wait. And it will mean more content to bring out as well. So, yeah, like I said, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace.